Take it to Costa Mesa High School in Costa Mesa, California for the FINA World League prelims men's water polo. But before the senior team got it going, it was an exhibition match between the World University Games training squad and the men's junior national team training squad. And it was a win for the World University Games group, 13-7. Both of these groups will announce their rosters later this summer for major competitions taking place this August and September. Now time for the main event, if you will, Canada and USA. Team USA still getting some of their key guys back from Europe, but a lot of veterans in the fold, and early on, not really a game of scoring. A lot of missed opportunities, missed six-on-fives, some missed penalty shots, some field blocks, some goalie saves, pretty much everything you'd see except the ball going in the cage until finally Canada would break through in this one with less than a minute remaining for a one nothing lead, and that was our score going into the second quarter. Check out the sprint now here to start off the second quarter. The Canadian player is going to get there first, but Zach Monson is a little trickery, able to reach in there and take the ball away and gain possession for Team USA. However, Canada would keep it going on the offensive end, scoring their second goal of the match to go up 2-0 early in this one. USA would finally get on the board about a minute later when Ben Hole is able to find the left corner of the net and get USA into the scoring column with a power play tally, 2-1 Canada still in front. USA still building. Here is Hudnut inside the J.W. Krumpholt, and he's able to put it away, and now we have a tie match as the USA gets it going a little bit here on offense. USA defense starts to pick it up. Here's Merrill Moses with one of his six saves on the day, able to stop that shot from distance. Canada would lead 3-2 at the half, and then early in the third, Team USA would go to a local guy, John Mann, out of Newport Beach, able to draw the exclusion. His defender's going to have to head out, and this is going to leave Mann wide open. He'll turn around and put it in, does not miss from there, and we're tied again at three. Canada would not go away in this match, and you'll see some quick passing here from the Canadians as they whip it around to find an open corner and take a 4-3 advantage midway through the third quarter. Third quarter winding down, and the USA will go inside to Ryan Bailey, who delivers the backhand to knot it up at 4-4, and we're headed to the fourth quarter all tied up. Final quarter belonged entirely to the United States, and it'll start early with Brian Alexander. He'll move in from about five meters out and hit that one for a 5-4 advantage, the first lead of the match for Team USA. Next sequence, and we'll see some sweet passing here. The beneficiary is Peter Varalis. He does not miss from that close, and the United States would go on to cruise in this one. They go up there and go on for the victory 8-5. to five. Afterwards, we caught up with some of the guys. Good to get our first game out of the way, get the rust off, and just see everyone. Everyone's looking good having a good time. A lot of our team still isn't here, but uh, you know, the, the beauty of the U.S. water polo team is, is at, we have a pool of you know, 22 guys and anyone can make the team at any time. And you saw that with some of our young guys, you know, they can play at top level. And so uh, it's going to be an interesting summer. It's going to be a dogfight. And you know, these young guys are going to give some of these old guys a, a run for their money. And uh, you know, the, the team's going to be announced for uh, Italy, uh, World League Super Finals. And then we got uh, Shanghai World Championships. And uh, that's what we're focused on now. And then uh, Pan Am's in October. And then London in 2012. It'll be fun. It's a good chance for us to look at a few guys that have just got back from Europe and see really where they're at, how much they've improved. Uh, and we have to make some decisions pretty quickly as to who's going to be traveling with us to Italy and uh, even World Championships. So, um, you know, it's just nice to get guys back together and uh, have a kind of a full squad that we're working with again. And, like I said, looking at some of the younger guys and even some of the older guys that are back from Europe is, is good for us.